Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And in today's video, I am going over everything that I hauled on my channel two years ago in September of 2018. I have no idea how long I'm gonna be able to keep this series going feasibly. I definitely can do October and November, but come December with the Vlogmas thing, which I'm gonna to have to address the Vlogmas in a whole other video. I don't know how that's gonna work. And then January with the baby coming, like we might have a good two more months of this series for now and then maybe it will have to resume a little later on. It took me quite a while to gather everything for this video. I cannot believe how much I hauled two years ago on my channel. So there's a lot to talk about. There's the good, the bad, the ugly, all of that stuff. Also, I'm trying to get better at linking my makeup in the description bar down below because I never used to remember to do that. So if you are wondering about anything I have on my face, it will be linked down below. As far as clothing goes, I know some people do that. Top is a maternity top from Thread Up necklace I got a bazillion years ago for like a dollar somewhere and earrings are from Amazon from a three pack I can link them down below but yeah if you guys want to see everything I hauled on my channel two years ago and we got some makeup we got some clothing we got some fall decor we got we got the whole the whole nine yards so if that's something you guys are interested in seeing then keep on watching let's go Okay, so our first haul that we will be talking about from September was an Ulta haul that had two bags of freebies. So one was like a bag of all like freebies from the Ulta brand, one was just like one of their general freebie bags, and then first we'll start with the products that I purchased in that haul. The first is da -da -da -da, a comb from the Wet Brush Company. Actually, this is a product that I still use to this day. Every time I take a shower, I use this, I keep this in my shower. The wet brush is like one of my favorite products I own. I have two regular wet brushes. I have the wet brush flex. I have like the mini travel size ones. Like I just love the wet brush. This comb is great. It's easy to use in the shower. I mean like, I feel like it still looks brand new and I've been using it in my shower for two straight years now. So I'm a big fan. The next product was a ColourPop palette. This was their Fame eyeshadow palette. I bought this because of Andrea Matalano. She talked about it all the time and I wound up not liking it. I feel like at this point in my life, I just like, can you guys see that the wind is blowing my hair? I just realized I have my fan on because I get warm when I film now and uh, we just, I just look like a supermodel apparently. Um, but what I was saying was this eyeshadow palette just did not do it for me. Two years ago, I feel like cool tones, I just had a lot of trouble using them. Maybe if I had it today, I would be able to make it work, but I just feel like no matter how many times I tried this palette, I just couldn't get it to work and I did wind up decluttering that palette. The next product I purchased was the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs in the shade Nectar. I had purchased this because of Jessica Braun and I really like this. I mean, there's a lot of product in this. A little goes a long way and one of the things I, I mentioned in my most recent Shop My Stash was I did have this in August's sash and it's just a, such a pretty easy to use product. I feel like if you aren't very skilled with cream products, it's a good introductory product because it doesn't take a lot of skill to use, I feel like, because it's so gently pigmented, you really can start off light and build it to the color you want it to be. And it's just easy to use. I'm a big fan. The next thing I purchased was a pack of cotton rounds from the Ulta Beauty brand. I really have stopped purchasing cotton rounds because I did purchase reusable ones and I usually only use those. I do occasionally use like a disposable cotton round, but that's usually a very rare circumstance. I don't do that very often, so I very rarely buy new packs anymore. I bought this set. It was a spoolie and a set of scissors. This is also from the Ulta brand. The spoolie's fine, like I sometimes will use it to like clean up if I mess up my mascara, but these scissors I use like all the time they just sit on my vanity right here and like usually if you see me opening a package in a video i just am using these <laughs> like these are one of my most used little tools that i have so that was actually a really good investment i also purchased from the ulta brand a dry sheet mask i was really into sheet masking back then i'm trying to get better at using the ones i have but this one was weird it was dry and i was supposed to be like reusable a few times and i never really felt like i got any of the benefits that it claimed it had so i would not recommend that now as far as the ulta branded freebies that i got one thing was their tinted eyeshadow primer in the shade satin blush i can't remember if i ever used that or if i immediately like put that aside for a giveaway because 
it was like a pink eyeshadow primer and, and that's not something like I would use ever. I also got a matte metallic liquid lipstick and I feel like at this point in my beauty journey, I still hadn't realized that metallic liquid lipsticks just were not, were not for me, but I think I used that and wound up decluttering it. I got this little duo here. I actually wound up drawing this a couple months ago in a makeup roulette. And this is just a blush and, I mean, a bronzer and a highlighter. I mean, it's literally called bronzer and illuminator. This is okay. I think when I do my face palette declutter, I don't think this will survive that. I think, honestly, like, the highlighter is really nice, but the bronzer is just not that great. This isn't the first time I've tried a bronzer from the Ulta Beauty brand and haven't been impressed, so that's not really a big surprise to me. I got a gel eyeliner in the shade Blackout, and I think I decluttered this a couple months ago because I was using it and it just was transferring a lot and wasn't lasting long, and I said that I have so many black eyeliners that work well, I don't feel the need to keep the ones that don't, so I don't think I have that anymore. I got this brow gel. This is um, in the shade Medium. This is okay. I'm not much of a tinted brow gel person. Maybe I'll try using this again soon because I haven't reached this in a while. I was surprised to see I actually still had it. So it's been quite a while. So I'll have to see if this even has any product left because I don't know. I got their Limitless Lashes Mascara and I do believe I tried that and I really did not enjoy it. I have yet to find a mascara from the Ulta Beauty brand that I enjoy. I got a lipstick in the shade Stay Fierce. I did look and I don't have this one anymore. So I assume I decluttered it and I don't remember it at all. I remember I got this like mini six pan eyeshadow palette. I remember it had like a purple. I wanted to like it. I did not like it. I just got really bad heartburn because I keep burping. <laughs> this is pregnancy, just burping a lot. Okay, next I got this. This is the matte makeup setting spray. This is okay. Matte setting sprays aren't necessarily always my number one go-to product, which is why this still has some product left. Honestly, it's probably about two thirds of the way full and this is 0.81 fluid ounces total. So. This made me realize that this is something I could definitely bring into a shop my stash and try to finish up one month. So you might be seeing this again soon. And then I did get two brushes from the brand. So the one I got is this eyeshadow brush, which is like a very large flat shader brush. This is not one I use a lot because honestly, like it's like the size of my eyeball. I feel like this is one I would use maybe to like spot conceal like this is not one of my most used brushes however this one this is their blush brush and I use this a lot and I usually use it more for um, bronzing I feel like it's a really good size and shape and I mean this thing has been through bazillions of washes and it's still good so I really like their blush brush I have gotten a few of these for free from Ulta and I actually like them all okay now for just like their regular bag of freebies I did wind up in this specific one getting nine different foil packets I don't necessarily list out all the foil packet samples I get, but I like to tell you guys like how many of them there were in these bags. So there were nine different foil packet samples. I did get a mini of the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is probably the one I got actually. This is empty, I have used this up, but I honestly wound up keeping the bottle for a long time now in case I ever travel. I always thought it would be a really nice size for refilling to take on a vacation in the very distant future. Okay, next, uh, the product, one of the products I got is actually in my magnetic palette that is in my shop, my stash currently. And it is this blush up here. And I think I mentioned in my video, I didn't actually know what it was, but this is from LA Girl. And this is the shade Just Blushing. So they gave a magnetic pan and it is a nice blush. I've been using it a bunch this month already and it's nice, I like it. I did get two perfume samplers. I'm not much of a perfume person, so anytime I do get samples, I always put those aside for giveaways. I got a pack of the Ulta Beauty makeup wipes. These are honestly like, I'm not a makeup wipe person anymore, but when I was a makeup wipe person, I am sorry that my bra has been out this whole time. Apologies. Um, when I wasn't a makeup wipe person, these were honestly the worst of the worst. They are the only ones that have ever physically burned my skin. So I only ever used those for swatches because I wasn't even comfortable giving those away to people. Um, I did get a sample of the Too Faced, uh, whoop, hello. <laughs> Hangover RX face primer. It's not the same sample that I have here, but this is a nice like hydrating primer. It's not one that I personally would go out and purchase myself, but when I do get samples of it, I use it because it's a totally fine product. I got the Murad Water Charge Gel. I don't remember using this, but like I'm a really big fan of Murad skincare, so if I used it, I probably enjoyed it. Cause I know other people that really like this, so I guess I liked it. I don't really remember. I can't speak to it. I got this little tiny lip gloss. 
This is from Beauty by Pop Sugar, and this is their Be The Boss Lip Gloss. It has like a very sweet candy scent to it. This is something that if I ever finish that mini lipstick in my project pan, I would love to start bringing in these mini lip glosses and just like plowing through them. That's a goal someday, but I need to finish that mini lipstick first. I got my first ever mini ABH clear brow gel. So two years ago is what started my obsession with this brow gel. I had used that mini up. I've gone through a full size. This is another mini and this one is almost complete. Is this one? This one's very close to being dried up. So nothing has ever come as close to my love for any brow gel except this. I don't think I worded that right. I feel like those words were not English, but I hope you know what I mean. I got something that was called the Niakio oil. I don't remember it, but I'm fairly certain I used it. I got the Living Proof TBD Styler. I don't think I used that, I think I gave that away. I got a uh, metallic bright liquid lipstick from Smashbox. I'm pretty sure I used that because again, I was not aware of my disdain for metallic lips. So I did, I have since decluttered that. I got the Mario Modescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. I'm not much of a Mario Badescu fan personally, but I feel like I remember that cleanser not being the worst. I got a full size OPI nail polish, which is pretty cool. Now, is it my ideal shade? No, I'm, I like fun shades a lot of the time. Like right now I'm wearing like a purple kind of from KL polish, but I mean, it's nice. It's like a nice blush kind of pink shade. It's called Climb Every Castle. It's fine. I, I think it's pretty cool that I got a full size nice nail polish though. From Dermablend, I got their loose setting powder. I actually fully used that up quite a while ago and I really do like that setting powder. I have considered repurchasing it. I just don't really have the need for repurchasing it this time. Uh, I got the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. I don't remember using that, so maybe I gave it away. I really don't remember. Okay, that was all for that one. Now we're on to the Sephora VIB sale. I'm guessing this was obviously the fall sale. So the fall sale was last September, so I don't know how soon the fall sale is coming up this year. But the first thing I did was I repurchased the Briogeo Scalp Revival Shampoo. I still love this product. It is just so expensive. I've tried to find other uh, scalp products that I prefer. They're a little bit more affordable. So Nature Lab Tokyo has a great one. I have one from Yes2 that's great. And they're just a little bit more cost effective than the one from Briogeo. Although I do think that's a great product. I've gone through so many tubs of that product already. I bought a full size of the Sol de Janeiro shower gel and that shower gel is easily my favorite shower gel. I just love Sol de Janeiro products in general, but that is a great shower gel. It's a moisturizing shower gel. I have considered buying it for my pregnant body that needs a lot of moisture. I'm trying to use what I have in my collection though and not buy it, but that's a great shower gel. Ah. I bought the Dior Backstage Foundation and I feel like a lot lately I've been talking about how I don't have this in the greatest shade. I have this in the shade 1CR. I have been trying to use it and mix it with other foundation shades, but this is a little bit more pink than I prefer in a foundation. But yeah, I just need to figure out how to make it work. It's been two years. I bought this. This is the Benefit Bravo Conditioning Primer. So this is actually the mini of it. And I bought this because of Nicole Concilio and she said this helps a lot with brow growth. I actually think it does. I just always forget to use it. So I'm not the greatest example of somebody using uh, this product, but I do think it works. It's just, I'm glad I bought a mini because I still haven't even used this thing up. I can't stop burping. Ah, I bought a mini of the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. Used that up, really liked it, and wound up, I think, the next year purchasing this full size in one of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. So, huzzah. I bought a mini of the Milk Kush Mascara. This was like right after it came out and it was being so hyped up and people were just saying that it was the best mascara ever. So I bought the mini of it and I hated it. <laughs> like absolutely hated it. Duh, just did not like it. So then I bought a couple things that were in the sale section. This is a big Sephora sale haul for me. I don't, <laughs> I don't ever buy this much at once. All right, so I bought from the Sephora collection. It was like a lip luster up there. So it was like a pink shade but it looked a lot brighter pink on the lips than it like did in the tube. So I have since decluttered it. I bought the Bite Agave Lip Balm. It was their old um, formula before they rebranded. That one's okay. It wasn't something I died after I loved. I just am very picky about lip balms. That wasn't a favorite for me. I bought the Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss in flat white because of Raw Beauty Christie. 
And let me tell you something. <laughs> Last month I wound up decluttering it because mine turned, it did not smell like coffee anymore. So that was a product that did not last very long. <laughs> In my opinion because i don't i have tons of lip glosses that are more than two years old that are totally fine i do have a feeling it's because of the ingredients bite uses but that's good to know going forward in the future i did purchase one of their older sephora plays sometimes they'll put them on sale for nine dollars and i bought it because something i wanted in this box if i bought it by itself it would have cost ten dollars but it was like nine dollars in the box plus the discount so this sephora play came with a mini benefit professional a mini Buxom Mascara, a mini Sephora Collection Mud Mask, a mini Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Still have it, not a huge fan, personally. The shade is just very pink tone for me, personally. And then the reason I bought this one was because it had the, the small size of the Alternate Caviar CC Cream, one of my all-time favorite leave-in products. I miss it, honestly. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. All right, then I had my Target Beauty Box unboxing, and there were two this month. There was one that was mask focused and then they just had their traditional September box. So in the mask box, we had a Lumin hydrating mask that came in a foil packet. I don't remember it. I had a Tresemme soothing hair mask. I really like the Tresemme hair masks. I've used a bunch of them and they all work really well. And I usually can get like three uses out of those packets. For mask bar, I had a rose gold peel off mask. I don't really like peel off masks, so I'm very sure that I gave that away. And from Miss Spa, I got an energizing sheet mask. Again, I could have used that, I could have not used that. It's very hard to remember. I think the last product in this box was from Acure and I got their Brilliantly Brightening Sheet Mask. Funny enough, I just used that last month. Total coincidence, had no idea. This was one of those sheet masks that's more like a paper consistency. So it wasn't an all-time favorite for me. It's not something I would personally repurchase because I don't like those more paper masks because they're very hard to fit on your face because they're very stiff. Okay, so in the traditional box, the first product was the OGX Coconut Dry Shampoo. And as somebody who is very picky about her dry shampoo, this one was not one that I preferred. Um, this did not work well for me. I have tried to like OGX Dry Shampoos and none of them have worked. I got the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. I feel like I did use this, but I can't really remember how I felt. From Schmitz, I got their Charcoal and Magnesium Deodorant. Every single Schmitz deodorant I've ever tried has felt like rubbing sandpaper on my armpits. So personally, I don't like them. From Garnier, I got their Soothing Facial Mist. I remember this being kind of florally, not really a fan. I got a Nivea Body Lotion. Don't remember it at all. And I got a Waleda Creamy Rose Body Wash. I feel like I use that and I feel like not loving it because I don't really love rose scented things. And then I got a Olay Micro Polishing Cleansing Glow. I also don't remember if I used that. So that was great. Don't remember anything. Okay, the next video is a TJ Maxx haul. So the first products I hauled were these mugs. So I got these Halloween mugs. I didn't have any Halloween mugs. I was so excited to get them. These are nice. The brand is Sheffield Home. The only thing I don't like is this one has that metallic paint, so you can't microwave this one, but overall these are great mugs. Uh, next thing I bought gave me all the feels. It's this cactus notebook. You might say, why does that give you all the feels? This is a notebook I literally have now been using for two years, and I can show you how much I have left in this book. I, out of all these pages, I only have this much left. I've used this almost entirely. This is where I write all of my video ideas, like any notes I need to take are in this book. It's funny to look back at like the first thing I ever put in here was a checklist for our uh, DC trip September two years ago. So I don't know, I really like this. Uh, the brand is Lady Jane Limited. It's just a really nice size. I like that it has spirals so I can fold it back. Like it's nice and sturdy and uh, it was $4.99. So that was, a, that was a little emotional one. The beginning of the clothing begins now. Uh, it was interesting going through this, seeing if the clothes that I hauled are clothes that um, I have still in my closet because I did go through and fill about three bins full of clothes that I do not fit in because I could not handle all the clothes I cannot fit in right now being like stuffed in my closet. So some of these are still around. So the first is a cardigan from Pink Rose and I mean, I basically kept all my cardigans out because the cardigans don't cover the belly, so they should still fit. I had hauled a pair of tie-dye leggings in this 
video, but I feel like I quickly decluttered them because they just looked odd. I did not wind up liking them. I got this uh, actually in the sale section, this denim shirt, and I wound up keeping this also because I feel like, again, it's a shirt that you can keep open, so I kept this out. This did not get cut from the maternity life. <laughs> I brought a BH brush set. I didn't feel like digging for them all. <laughs> But I grabbed two. They're the gold farreled black ones. I'm sure you've seen me use these in videos over the years. Great brushes. I mean, they've survived many washes. I mean, this one, they have a tiny bit of seaming because, I mean, such is life. But yeah, I really like BH brushes. They wash well, they last well. I mean, I have no complaints. I bought my first ever Real Techniques brush. Can you believe it? Two years ago, I bought my first brush and it was this one that is dirty right now because it was used. This is the Real Techniques 302 brush. And it's part of a certain line they had that had sparkly handles. It's great, again, it's a blush brush. I use it and it's dirty. Okay, this was one of the items in the video I was the most excited to haul. And now I'm just like, why did I even buy it? This is from Cover FX and this is their custom enhancer drops. I know I was so excited that these were $7 when you could pay $40 for them at Sephora. But the shade is just, I don't know, it's a darkening shade, which I feel like for my non-tan <laughs> skin tone, like a lot of the times I'd rather have something that lightens a shade of foundation than darkens. But I guess like I had just come out of like self-tan season, so I was like, oh, I could darken my lighter foundation. So I was like all excited, but I never, so I so rarely change foundation shades. And if I'm gonna recommend something to people anyway, I would recommend the number seven ones because they're so much more affordable got a lip liner and it's actually one I use all the time especially like when I'm using a lip gloss like this is one of the my go-to lip liners I'll use this is from Stila and this is their stay all day lip liner in the same in the shade Marsala but uh, I'm pretty sure this product's been discontinued because I've tried to link it before and I can't so I don't know and I also got this brush this is from Bare Minerals and this is their full flawless face brush I don't know. I wanted to really like this brush, but it just, it's just okay. It's not that great. I, I wanted it to be a lot better than it actually is, honestly. I got a lipstick. This is the MAC Lip Glass in the shade Viva Glam. This is part of their Ariana Grande collaboration. It's kind of like a cool toned mauve pink. I'm a fan. From Bare Minerals, I got one of their Gen Nude Lip Lacquers in the shade Squad. I don't remember decluttering this product, but I can't find it anywhere so I don't know what happened to it but I like their lip lacquers they're nice I mean I prefer their matte products from the gen nude line but their lip lacquers are nice too I just don't know where this is I got this little trio from Smashbox this is their night shoot uh, photo edit trio honestly like this is okay it's kind of odd because it's like one matte which is like cream and then it's two satins so I've never really mastered how to use these palettes but I have it and I kind of like it. I don't know, it's weird. All right, then I had filmed this video that I was watching and it just gave me all the feels. I did a shop with me at Target video that I based off of videos that Casey Holmes and Jessica Braun had done where I like went through all like the Halloween and fall decor and I was just so excited and it, it gave me the feels, like I said. And uh, it was fun, it made me miss those days. So I'm not gonna show everything because I don't know where everything is, I haven't really unpacked all of my fall decor but I got a couple small candles from the dollar spot I'll show a picture because I do have these out in our living room right now but I got these like small fabric pumpkins that were a dollar each from the dollar spot and honestly the last two years they have had those at the dollar spot like even when I went food shopping at Target like a week ago I saw them still in the dollar spot so they actually do still sell these every year and I think they're great and they're really cute What's funny is I held up this shirt as like, oh my god, isn't this so cute? And I wound up going back and buying it later, but you probably saw this in a couple videos last week. But what I did wind up buying in that video was this tank top, which has got pumpkins on it. Uh, this was in one of my most recent like pregnancy vlogs, me wearing this one. I also got this, which did not get put away. This is like a turtleneck crop top. This did not get put away because I thought I could pull this off with my maternity clothes. Maybe with a pair of jeans. I tried it on with a pair of leggings today and it just looked funky. So I'll have to try it with a pair of jeans in my maternity clothes. We'll see. I did buy, buy a pair of leggings that were like moto detailed. I actually wound up not liking the way they fit me and I did sell those on my Poshmark. Uh, I got, 
an iced pumpkin coffee from uh, Starbucks in this video, so I got some some feels. I do love me some pumpkin iced coffee. I got this like cropped purple flannel that did not survive the maternity haul put away, so it is in a box somewhere right now. Um, then I actually shopped the sales section and I got a couple items and like they're all items I still have, so that's impressive. I got just like a, a plain camisole. Can never have enough of these. And then something I love to do, especially in the Target like sale section, is go to the men's sale section and find comfy lounge clothes. So one of them is like just like this like long sleeve like baseball tee. And then I also got these like pajama pants. Like that's like the best place to find some comfy clothes. Now, do these things fit me right now? Oh, I don't know about that, but they're fun to have. And then the rest of the stuff in this haul was like kind of stuff for our apartment that we had at that time that doesn't really pertain to anything now. And then I did something that I had never done until this point in my life. And I ordered from Bath and Body Works online. I I think it was my first time ordering online because they had a big Labor Day sale and it was like my first time really doing it. So I got some candles, I got pumpkin pecan waffles. I have that same scent burning downstairs right now. I'm a big fan. I got Cider Lane. I don't really remember Cider Lane. I got leaves. I feel like we all know how I feel about leaves. I've already burned through a leaves this month. So, big fan. Uh, I bought some body mists and some body products. One of them was this one, the Whipped Vanilla and Spice. I mean, in two years, I've made that much of a dent. It just, I want it to be spicier. I think I want it to be spicier and it's more vanilla-y than spicier, so it's not like an all-time fave. Uh, I got a bunch of shower gels. I honestly did not feel like going through my shower gel collection to see if I still have these or if I've not used them yet, because that would be not fun. But I got Autumn Nights shower gel. I want to say I used that one. I don't really remember. Bonfire Bash shower gel. I feel like I have not used that one yet. I got the Sweater Weather Body Spray. I'm not a huge fan of this one, so I am really lazy and I left it downstairs. <laughs> Uh, it's actually in our bathroom right now. Like I have it like on like a little thing for like guests to use stuff because of all the guests we obviously have. This one smells more like a perfume to me than a body spray and that's why I've never like really jived with it because I said I don't really like perfumes but I like body sprays so it's not my all-time fave. I got the marshmallow pumpkin latte shower gel. I for sure used that one and I for sure remember being like loving it at first and by the end I was like so over the pumpkin every day. It was just a lot. Then I had the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Shower Gel. I don't remember if I used that. Okay, now we're on to a fall fashion haul. I went outlet shopping for Labor Day. And I think I only typed out what I still have from this haul because I didn't feel like typing out all the stuff I've already like sold on Poshmark or donated and stuff like that. And a lot of these things have also survived the maternity put away. One of them being this tank top. This is the back of it, okay. <laughs> This tank top I bought, I, this is like something I would wear a lot to work, especially. Oh, and that's from the Old Navy outlet. Uh, every time I go to an outlet place and they have an Aero Pastel, I stock up on underwear because I don't know why, but the most comfortable underwear I've ever been able to find are from Aero Pastel and like no mall has Aero Pastels anymore. And I can only find them at outlets. So the last time I did my Aero Pastel underwear stock up, I guess was two years ago now. Um, I got this cardigan. This is from the Banana Republic outlet. This is all like my work clothes. Remember when we used to go to work? <laughs> Who remembers that? Uh, I got some leggings from Gap. I know these did not survive because all of my not maternity leggings have been put away into a box. But actually that was a repurchase because I really liked a pair of leggings I had gotten at a Gap outlet the year before. So I did that. And I think in my most recent thread up purchase that I made last week, I think I ordered a pair of maternity gap leggings to try out. I think. Then we have our boxy charm for that September. The first product were these brushes from Alamar. Right now, this one is very much covered in glitter, so I'm carefully keeping it separated. But I really like these brushes. I use them all the time. Uh, I saw that they came out with new brushes, so I'm wondering if we'll ever get those in boxy charm because these are pretty awesome. I got the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. Used this once, knew I hated it. Again, cool tones were not my thing at that time especially, and I remember like texting a picture of it to my mom and saying, do you want this? And saying, it's all yours. From Butter London, I got the Glazen Lustrous Liner. This was literally a 
shiny eyeliner. Not a fan, did not enjoy that. I got this blush from Laura Geller. This is their blush, blah, 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 blush and brighten in Tropic Hues. Big fan of this, really like this. Did not expect to like this as much as I do, but I'm really into it. And then I also got the Hank and Hen a liquid lipstick from Hank and Henry. I remember not liking the color and decluttering it. Then I had my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty Sale haul. And yeah, I'll probably have another one of those coming later this month too. But um, I guess I used points on this haul because I said I only spent $18 total on everything combined. So the first thing I got was the CoverGirl Thin Brow Pencil for the first time. I actually thought I still had one of these, but I guess I finished up my last one and I never repurchased. But this is a really nice drugstore uh, brow pencil. Once I tried the LA Girl one and that one's like a few dollars cheaper, I realized like I feel like it was more, it made more sense to buy that one instead of the CoverGirl, but the CoverGirl one is nice. I bought the Spotlight Palette from Smashbox and this is such a nice highlighting palette. I very much enjoy this a lot. I love these two shades, especially mixed together. This one I don't use as much because it's a little glittery for me, but these two are chef's kiss. I got the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Eye Gels, and let me tell you, I think I'm going to pick up two packs this year in the 21 Days of Beauty sale just to last me for those rough days of pregnancy because they make me happy. Uh, I got this from Catrice. This is their Dewy Wet Stick. This again is something that I'm pretty sure has been discontinued, but I bought this on Jessica Braun's recommendation and it is really an easy to use stick highlighter. It just glides on easily, leaves a beautiful glow. Don't know why it's discontinued, but it is. Another product I bought because of Jessica Braun was the Essence Spice Up Your Life palette. This was like a $10 eyeshadow palette. It was nice, but Essence eyeshadows have never really like, oh my God, my bra has been out this entire video. <laughs> Essence eyeshadows have just never really impressed me that much, so I wound up decluttering it. I did purchase this LA Girl concealer, and this was a big disappointment. This is the shade Porcelain, and it's just so dark. I don't get it. It's not my favorite applicator. I don't know. I need to figure out how to get my use out of this. Whenever I use it, I'm just never that impressed, but I want to figure out how to get good use out of it. From Essence, I bought their Super Curl Eye Opening Mascara. I did not wind up liking that mascara. I bought three bath bombs from Ulta because I was in my bath bomb phase at this point. I bought this eyeliner from LA Girl. This is their Paradise Purple Eyeliner. LA Girl does make really good eyeliners, so I would recommend them. I don't have any issues. And then this order had a freebie bag of all lip products. So the first product was a Velvet Matte Lipstick from e.l.f. and in the shade Fuchsia Fantasy. I no longer have that. I got this from L'Oreal. This is their Le Chocolat uh, in the shade Candyman. These were like all the rage two years ago because they literally smell like a batch of brownies. Like, they smell so good. It's a very long wearing mattifying lipstick, that is for sure. Then I got the Essence Matte Lipstick in the shade 03. I looked, I no longer have this and I really don't remember much about it. I got the uh, Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick. I got a full size, the shade Bear With Me. I was so excited and then I absolutely wound up hating it. And I just thought it was the lipsticks in general. However, that one might have been like, bad or like gone bad or it was old because once I tried the formula again like when I got it in BoxyCharm it was like a completely different formula so I think that one I had gotten was bad because I love the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick formula and I don't know what was wrong with that one. <laughs> I got the Tardis lip paint in the shade Delish. I did try this out and I did not like it and decluttered it. I'm not a big fan of that formula. I got this lipstick from LA Girl. This is the shade Snuggle. This is a really nice like affordable lipstick formula. Not bad. From Anastasia Beverly Hills, I got a liquid lipstick in this shade Crush. These are fairly drying, but I like this shade. I try to make it work. And then I got Rebel Rose from Wet n Wild, which is one of my most used Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks. Like, this is a good one. I just, I, there was like a time where like this was all I was wearing. I love this one and it was free. <laughs> Then I got like a really, really mini liquid lipstick from BH Cosmetics, but I did not really like that formula at all personally. And then the last product was from the Ulta brand. It was a lipstick in the shade Flushed Pink, but I also apparently do not have that either anymore. I looked through my collection, could not find it. Okay, then the next haul, like I'm telling you, there was so much this month. The next haul was the Wet n Wild haul for Labor Day. First thing I bought was this brush set. So all of these are dirty right now. These are some of my most used brushes. They basically perform like brand new. Like I love these brushes. This was called their Eye Perfection Brush Set. I'm a big fan. These are great brushes. 
Uh, I also bought this. I also bought this brush. This was from their Fire and Ice collection. I really wanted the one that was the fire brush. That one was always sold out. So I got the ice brush, which was more of like a highlighting brush. This is really good too. I got the Color Icon blush in the shade Rosé Champagne. And that actually was decluttered in my most recent blush declutter. I just wasn't reaching for it. And I thought it could go to someone else. I got this lipstick in the shade Bear It All. This is a really nice like lipstick. It's like $3. I really like it. I bought the Hummingbird Hype blush. But once I got it, I realized like it wasn't going to work on my skin tone, so I actually wound up giving that away. And then I got the Bronze Dynasty bronzer that has the dragon in it, and I do really like this product. My packaging is just broken. That's all. Guys, I think we're headed towards the end of this video. And then we had Ipsy versus Ipsy. The first thing was I did a point redemption, and I got my very first ever Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. It was a size much smaller than this, but it was the first time I ever tried it, and I've gone on to really, really enjoy this product. Um, I wound up getting a set of BRTC sheet masks and funny enough, like a couple weeks ago, I actually wound up using one of these and it was a really nice sheet mask. It's maybe the second time I've used a product from BRTC and I've overall really liked the brand. I do believe it is a K-Beauty brand and it seems really nice. From Luxie, I got this Harley Quinn brush. I actually think I wound up decluttering it, like sending it to Project Beauty Share. It was like a weird flat top, like concealer brush. I didn't really know how to use it and I wound up just getting rid of it. From Deuce. This is actually the bronzer I'm wearing today, and it wasn't on purpose. It's in a here, and it's their Freematic bronzer in the shade Sunbeam, and it's right here. I didn't know when I set up to my makeup today that I was gonna be wearing that product, and it went with this video, so it was a total accident. Uh, from Luna by Luna, I got their translucent pressed powder. This was very white, I hated it. Decluttered. Uh, from Smashbox, I got the Babe Alert liquid lipstick, and last month I had to declutter that because it basically completely dried out, which is something I've heard a lot with the Smashbox liquid lipsticks, which is very unfortunate. From Trust Fun Beauty, I got a polish in the shade Kiss Kiss Darling, and I loved I think I've gotten rid of it. I couldn't find it. I do know I've tried that formula of polish twice, and I haven't really had good luck with the brand. From Hemp's, I got their Triple Whipped Moisture Body Cream. That stuff is so good. It was like the blue one. I got the blue one. It was so good. From Meech and Mia, I got this single eyeshadow in gunmetal. It's kind of like a metallic gunmetal shade, basically. From Luxie, I had their Wonder Woman brush. I was actually surprised to see that I kept this one. This one is their detailed tapered blender. This one's odd too. I, I never really use it, but it looks so cool because it's Wonder Woman. See? But yeah, this one is not a fave. From Trisique, I got their lip glaze in English Rose. I couldn't find this, so I guess I decluttered it. And then I think, so uh, now we got two videos left. Next we have a Target haul. So the first thing I bought was this, because I was going to use it in the back of my videos. It says, life begins after coffee, but back in the back, it just never really worked. You couldn't really read it, so it actually just sits on a corner shelf over there. I got a blue flannel crop top, and that did not survive the maternity uh, clean out. I got this crop top from NASA. This survived. I wear this a lot. It's covered in uh, makeup stains, so this is a well-used product. Uh, from the dollar spot, I got some pumpkin spice candles. I got a pumpkin shirt for Luigi. It was the first time I ever tried putting clothing on Luigi, and Luigi was like this big back then, and uh, we have learned that Luigi does not handle clothing well with his anxiety. I bought two pairs of shoes. One pair are these tan sneakers, but they're still packed away with my like boots and stuff for the fall. I haven't unpacked them yet. But I got this pair of black shoes I can show you. They're nasty. These are one of my most worn pair of shoes over the last two years. My trick with Target shoes is actually what I, I don't want you to see the bottoms. That's, these have walked miles and miles in the city of New York. One of my tricks with Target shoes is I buy them a half a size larger and then I buy really nice insoles for them. And then they're like amazing. That's my secret. Yeah, these are one of my most worn shoes to the point where like I wore these parts off and had to sew them back on because I wore these like lived in them basically and uh, I love these. They're just really comfy. I love them. Actually, we got our white quilt comforter, uh, which was half price. It was a comforter we had seen like a month or two before that was like $50 and when we went this day, it was like on sale for $25. And actually, as I am here pregnant, it is the only blanket I am able to sleep under. What are the chances? And we also bought a pack, 
a pillow for our couch, which is in our living room right now, which I do not feel like bringing up. All right, Allure Beauty Box is the last thing, and then this video will be over. I promise. I got a full-size MAC lipstick in the shade Lustering. I did not like that lipstick. It has since decluttered. Got a set of Tarte lashes. Don't know where they are. Never wear lashes. But we also got this lash glue from Tarte, and uh, it's interesting. Uh, I don't remember much about it because I don't wear lashes often, but I do remember that it is like an iridescent shade, which is weird. I don't know why it's iridescent, but it is iridescent. I remember the first time I ever used it being very confused. We got the T. LC Baby Facial from Drunk Elephant. That's really nice, but very expensive, full price. So I've never repurchased. And the last thing I got was the IGK Coconut Oil Gel. No memory of it, probably never used it. This video has been so long. I'm sweating, you're tired. I've talked too much, I'm out of breath. I'm gonna go. Hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.